main boards. You know you're a sailor when suspenders make you happy. So we're gonna haul out uh, probably the end of uh, end of this month. Yeah, I'll talk Start to you doing some paint. Next few days. He's actually thinking of painting the bottom, but I'm kind of. I was gonna mention to him, so I was thinking about it. So he's thinking of you know put a barrier coat and well, then I might the bottom. bottom paint on to be done. Huh? Yeah, and the bottom paint. But I was kind of thinking, where do you want to go up to Maine? Um, and if we do, when we haul out up there, we're gonna do the redo the copper anyway. So I'm kind of thinking instead of doing all that and uh, putting more money into it, we can just put new copper on when we get up there. But anyway, so we're kind of working towards that. We've been uh, working a lot at the wood shop, and we're getting it set up so that he can start building some small wooden boats. So we're on our way to work right now. That's been my second job lately, is going to that wood shop and working there. This isn't boat stuff, but it's woodworking stuff. We might move this table, too, over just a little bit this way. So the first things first, we had to clean this place out. This whole area got nice and clean. I was vacuuming and I kept feeling like something was looking at me and I looked up and it was this huge spider. And it was kind of giving me the middle finger. It was right there. This huge spider is sitting right there in this huge cobwebby area. Oh, so scary. <clears throat> So right now we're putting new lights up and stuff, getting the shop so that we can see. A mechanical bench, sharpening bench. I think that's gonna have miscellaneous stuff over there. Paint area. Next is this area. We're gonna put the wood in these wood racks and clean up this area. And then next will be this area to clean. Ta-da! And uh, we cleaned out this area too, just hard to see right now because it's dark, but um, and we also hung up some lights, which really helps a lot. Got some tools over there, garbage, just clean now. It's going to be our mechanics bench. And then we're going to put, we're actually going to put a boat in the slings, the boat that we're working on. Yes? It's the boat we're going to fix up once we get the shop all done and cleaned out and set up the way we want. We're going to take that little boat and we're going to bring it into the shop. So we're going to get some carburetor cleaner for the Volkswagen bus. And if you look in here, you can actually see some gunk. So there was some gunk in the bottom of, in the carburetor. That's a little thing that gets lifted up when the float comes up. Mm -hmm. so when, it, when it has enough fuel in there, it comes up. When the fuel's empty, it comes down. And this float floats up like this. That little nib pushes it. When you get low on fuel, when you start getting low on fuel, it goes down. The little holes in the diaphragm was all clogged up. So we just kind of replace the diaphragm gasket piece. What's 41? This diaphragm gasket, we replaced it. And, uh, diaphragm pump. It's this thing right here. Okay. Well, that could have been what was it. And oh, then huh? we also put some carb cleaner in it as well. See, because when you give it gas, when you give it gas, it, see, it, it makes that thing. See, it pumps. Yeah. So we were missing a spring. Maybe you gotta, oh, you probably got to turn it, so you have to get it out. Yeah. So it just turned. We were missing a spring in this carburetor on a part. Oh no, that just turned. I don't know what that means. Mm. I got those little pieces of pliers, but. Now you don't want to force anything when you're working on a carburetor. But this little spring is probably supposed to go right in there. Why? Well, that would put that would keep pressure on that thing. What's it called? This is, I think it's the electric choke. That's the thing that we were thinking we kept having trouble with. Vacuum diaphragm choke. It had something to do with a vacuum. And then this vacuum diaphragm choke 
part is missing the spring on it. Hmm. Boy, I probably got to tap it in a little bit. Okay. So that's that. So that was stuck. Mm-hmm. And it's supposed to move, and it didn't have a spring that whole time, so it might have just jammed it because we didn't have a spring in that area. How was it? It was just like that, wasn't it? See, now it moves, yeah? Yeah. That's supposed to move. And it's That's supposed why to have it needs a spring. A spring. So when and there's the spring right there. So when something something happens, it, I don't know what pushes it out. I really don't see what would really push it out. Though. Maybe when it gets hot. Maybe it's more that it pushes it in. I put it all back together. You put a new float in there too. We put the put it on. We got that gas over there. This gasket. The new one has a hole right here, but then when we looked at the gasket, we realized that the hole wasn't pulled out. Through that, it comes down in here, and it shuts it off when it gets to a certain point, because you're getting too much now. Hopefully you're not getting flooded. Well, that's why, that's what the float's for. Heater. That was my copper bracelet. <sighs> should we undo the, the electric? We probably should. I don't want that alternator now. Imagine was that, that the alternator? Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Layla? Layla bonked her head on something. Look at that. Wow. We might have figured it out. That would be so cool. Well, test drove the bus, drove it around, did the same thing. It's obviously not the carburetor. What's happening is it runs good at idle, but then when you try to, when you press on the gas, it just sputters like it's out of fuel and dies. It did the same thing, same exact thing. We have no idea what it is. So Pete started up the bus and drove it forward about 20 feet and then it died. So that tells us it's electric. It didn't sputter out. It just, just died. Pain in the butt. So we saw a spark in that. Coming out of this wire going into here. Yeah, so we know that there's spark. And but this whole thing is like loose. See? I can, I can pick the whole thing up and, and move it. So it and there's a loose Phillips head screw right there. Tighten it. Should we try it and see? Yeah. Oh, we fix a lot of other stuff in the meantime. So now we know if it starts and runs and doesn't die, then it's probably what it works. <laughs> if it doesn't, then we'll put the points in and maybe something happened to them from being loose. I don't see why. Could be just a loose thing. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Bless you. He's going to drive it along the parking lot because we don't exactly trust it yet. We don't feel like towing it for forever. But it looks like he's making it around the parking lot. We finally fixed the bus. Yes! It's so awesome!
awesome. No, I don't, did we? No. Why does it say full? Oh, maybe it is full. I don't think we filled it up. No, so we just put, we drained it, then we put that gas in. The gas tank ain't drained, right? I'm gonna do that again. We are done. It's kinda okay. good. Have fun. Yeah, but I think I haven't got up to 40 yet. Should I risk going down the road? Getting up to 40? I don't know. Let's do it tomorrow. Let's drive tomorrow during the day. That way we don't, it's not dark. Yeah. I'll just do that one more time. At least I can coast in. And then park. Yeah. Okay. We're going to drive over to St. Petersburg on the other coast of Florida where I'm originally from and visit my family. I'm going to visit uh, my nephews and my sister and my dad. So, and we might actually go camping too at a place called Fort, Fort DeSoto. Um, we might take the bus if the bus is running good, which would be really cool. Um, so until then, we'll let you all know. Please share your favorite videos to introduce your friends to my channel.